Hi, I'm Angela with ConciliosKitchenware.com and today I'll be doing a demo on the DeLonghi Aletta. I'll be showing you how to make an espresso, a latte, and a lungo. The Aletta offers one-touch automatic milk-based beverages in a compact design. On the top left of the machine, we have the on-off button. Next, we have the menu button, the OK button. We have our digital screen. And over here, we have the coffee length option ranging from five different lengths of coffee. We have the standard coffee, long coffee, extra long coffee, my coffee, and short coffee. Over here, we have the two espresso beans. This is the strength button. We have extra mild taste, mild taste, standard taste, strong taste, extra strong taste, and pre-ground. Pre-ground is to access the bypass on the DeLonghi Aletta. Along the bottom of the interface, we have our hot water button, our long coffee button, one touch cappuccino, and we have our milk menu. In the milk menu, we have our cafe latte, latte macchiato, flat white, and milk. You can do a hot frothed milk using the carafe, which would be ideal for hot chocolate beverages or tea lattes, or any milk-based beverage that does not require espresso. To the bottom right of the machine, we have our single coffee button and our double coffee button. So if you hit the double, you're gonna put two cups underneath the coffee spout. The DeLonghi Aletta features the Latte Crema system, a technology in the craft that allows for a perfect milk-based beverage with a dense, creamy, and velvety foam. The DeLonghi Aletta also has a hot water spout, which goes just on the left of the machine. We're gonna go ahead and make an espresso. I'm grabbing the espresso cup from the warming tray on top of the machine, placing it below the coffee spout. The coffee spout is adjustable. I have short espresso selected. I've selected the strength of coffee and we're going to do a single shot of espresso. Next, we're going to go ahead and make a cafe latte using the carafe on the DeLonghi Aletta. In the milk menu, you can go ahead and select your choice of milk-based beverage and simply press the OK button. I have medium amount of foam selected on the carafe. The carafe also has an adjustable spout. After making your milk-based beverage, the screen will prompt you to set dial to clean on the carafe. And I will demonstrate how to do this. We're simply gonna turn the knob all the way over to the right to the clean setting, and the machine will purge water through, ensuring the internal tubes are clean. Next, we're gonna make a long coffee, which is similar to a Canadian coffee. We have long coffee selected, preference of strength is there, and I'm going to do a single cup. The Aletta has a front-loading water tank. Fantastic if you are putting this machine in a place where there are cabinets above. The machine will prompt you when the water tank needs to be filled. The machine will also inform you when it is time to empty the grounds container or the dredge drawer. This is where the grinds of the coffee will appear. And we have the drip tray also. The drip tray features a red piece, which will rise to the top indicating when the tray is getting full. And this simply gets emptied in the sink. At Concilius Kitchenware, we suggest that you 
Remove the brewing unit once a week and rinse it under the tap. We're gonna turn the machine off. You'll see that there is a flap, pull to open, and this is the brewing unit. Two red notches, simply pinch that together. The brewing unit comes out. You rinse this under plain running tap water, no soap, just tap water. Rinse it once a week. To put it back, pinch the red notches and simply slide it back into place. On top of the machine, we have the warming tray. Over here, we have the bypass and you would select pre-ground coffee from the two beans from the strength setting on the front of the machine. Great if you're making decaf coffee. Over here we have the bean hopper. This is where you add your espresso beans.